Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have a big 100 watt solar panel hooked up to a 100 watt max 7 amp solar charge regulator. You need these if you are going to be charging batteries. Like this battery right here is a 7 amp hour battery used in a lot of backup systems for computers. The 7 amp hour and the 7 amp on this have nothing in common. It's just a coincidence that they're both... Uh, but both have the number seven. The amp hours is the length of time that you can run this. This is the maximum current that you can run through it. So you don't want to exceed seven amps on this, which is about 100 watts at 12 volt. It's actually 84, but you don't want to go over that. Um, over here, I have a watt meter that tells you everything that's going on. We are doing charging the battery with 38 watts, and the battery is currently at 11.5. 37 volts so the battery's low right now um, this device shows you the amps the amp hours that you put in it records all the data it's a pretty cool little device this should get off the internet this charge controller I got at Harbor Freight this is a really good little charge controller actually they're pretty inexpensive you can get these off of the internet too other people make them I use this one for a while it holds up pretty good this has uh, slightly different plugs than what most solar panels are now making, but this plug system is pretty cool. Solar panels, a lot of solar panels have the MC connectors now. Uh, actually, most of them, all of them do. But you can see I strip, stripped it off of those over here, and I've just got it hooked up with some test leads. These test leads are about 4 amps, so right now we are at 3.5 amps, so we're not exceeding this wiring. If you did, these would start to heat up and you could actually burn them. But this isn't the proper configuration to do this. This is just to show you how you would hook it up. You have your solar in here in the center one. This hooks to your battery for charging. And this comes out here to your load. Now, this is a 7 amp max. So this battery could probably output 15, 20 amps. You want to not short circuit this while this is hooked to a battery and you also want to make sure that whatever you're running off of it is below the amps of the charge rate the charge controller anytime you charge a battery you always want to have one of these hooked up because what happens is as this voltage starts to increase all of the panels that are tabbed together like this usually have an open voltage of 18 volts if they're designed for charging 12 volt batteries amorphous panels like this one that are uh, part of the harbor freight system have an open voltage of 20 to 21 volts if you leave this on too long you'll actually burn this battery up it'll start to bubble and smoke and some of them will even explode so you don't want to do that the charge controller is a necessity to keep you from overcharging your battery as the current flows into the battery you'll see the voltage start to rise here and when this gets up to around 13 or 14 volts in the battery a little bit above 12 this solar charge regulator will actually cut off it'll stop the flow into the battery keep it from overcharging Again, you can get this one at Harbor Freight. You can buy them off the internet too. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.